شیما بابا بروح قدیش و حاد الله و شیر و امین برخ مرابونا Good morning everybody It's very good to see you Not morning anymore It's morning So thank God for everything we have in our life and especially now we are um, together in his church in his home, in his place with him So, you know, it was like uh, for three or four months, our churches are closed, but thank God for everything. Today we are reopening our churches and gathered here to give glory to him and praise him and also celebrate with him all as today the feast of his all the disciples, the 12 disciples and also the feast of St. Peter and St. Paul, as you know. Last few days we were uh, fasting, preparing ourselves to uh, celebrate the feast of the 12 apostles and Peter and Paul together today. And it's a great blessing in our life in, to have uh, this memorial in our church. And as, as you know, all of you, um, our church is an apostolic church. We believe in their faith because they deliver their faith to us over years and years and years. Uh, all this time, and they delivered to, to us like pure faith and a true faith from the Lord himself, Jesus Christ. And also, uh, we remember in their lives, they were really a role model for everybody. They were like a living sacrifice to everyone for the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. And all of this give, uh, give us uh, like power and strength to continue this path and work and go always uh, for the um, for the love of God to be always with him uh, share in his uh, kingdom. I would like just to share with you a few uh, thoughts today. <coughs> We pray in our daily Shehimu uh, on um, Thursday evening uh, to Friday, few prayers about the uh, apostles and to just praise them, praise them and remember them uh, by their work and uh, sacrifice they did for our uh, sake. So if we uh, see the first one, I will say it in, uh, in Syriac after this one, the translation in English. But it's really very nice to go back and see how many Uh, pearls we have in our prayer, in our books of prayers in our church. So in, in Syriac we say, لو ملكي ولو دايوني ولو شاليطي دبو علمو قناو ميديم دقناو سهدي ديشد لدمو تصوري هون وزبان لهون حاية حاثي بملكوثو شميونيتو So the translation is, no kings, judges or rulers of this world have gained anything such as what the martyrs gained, who shed the blood of their necks and bought for themselves a new life in the celestial kingdom. So, if just we uh, focus and a little bit think about this one, uh, especially now in this world, we are always like running and working to have this and this and this, I mean some uh, some things in our life, or uh, cars, or whatever. But our uh, forefathers, the apostles, and the other disciples, they were just looking our Lord Jesus Christ. And even a king, with all his glory, couldn't do it, because a king cannot sacrifice anything for the glory of, of God. But for them, they shed their blood for the love of the Lord. And also, it's not just like their, their whole life like in one purpose, with one purpose, to be with the Lord God. So it's not just a sacrifice, it's a whole life. They give up on everything they, they can or they have just to enjoy being with our Lord Jesus Christ. And I think this one... Um, We lack this one in, in our life now. We cannot uh, get, uh, like, give uh, uh, up on anything for his sake. But please, we have to uh, wake up now and see 
because all of this, all of this, this faith now we, what we, we enjoy now, uh, it's the, it was the price of their blood shedded for preserving this faith. So first of all, they gave everything, even they were killed and murdered for the sake of the uh, good news and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. The second one, I won't be very long. The second one, uh, I will stop on it. It's uh, about the reward. So, and we say in this part, so, <coughs> and here's the translation. Holy ones, you have kept your reward for that pleasure that does not pass. And at the other day of their direction, and together with Jesus, in whom you believed, the reward for your work shall shine as a bright light without end. So, all of this, because they will, they, they, they were really a good believer in the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ. They believe they believed in His promises for words was kept and preserved till the end. So for for sure, uh, now we we see some rewards in our life from God. It's a gift and and grace from Him. But all but also in the second life we'll have. A, a lot more rewards than that we have today. So if we believe in his promises to us, and we know it they, from their life as disciples and apostles, they believed in his promises, and their rewards were kept till the end. So <coughs> one last thing about all of this. We know in our uh, church we believe in their intercession, and we believe in their prayers also. They pray also, always for us, for to be saved from the uh, evil doers in, in this life. We know um, maybe every every day, not just the life, maybe every day or every hour, it's a, a big trial for us in this world to fight against evil and trying to triumph over uh, the evil things and triumph and to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. And a, a big, uh, big war, uh, if we can say it. But this one is a spiritual one, and for sure we need a lot of help. Those apostles and martyrs and uh, saints, they are our help by their prayers. They are our help when we read their stories and know how uh, they fought and they overcome uh, Satan in their life and they were victorious in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So by his grace and his work in, in their lives. Please, today we celebrate the uh, feast of uh, St. Peter and Paul, and we know they are great, great uh, apostles. So they, they shed their, their blood for the uh, sake of uh, Christianity, and also the other apostles. As, as far as I know, just uh, one apostle, one of the 12, uh, were not murdered, uh, St. John, uh, the evangelist, and about the others, uh, I think all of them, they were killed for the sake of the good news and spread the word of God all over the world. So, uh, before I forgot, I would like to uh, congratulate and felicitate everyone uh, carried the name of Peter, Paul, and uh, the 12 uh, apostles. Uh, and especially today, I would like to congratulate Abuna Andrew. He's one of the 12 brother of uh, Peter. Abuna Amru Arikho. Saudi. Um, also, I would like to wish you always a blessed day and blessed week. And please be careful. Uh, be cautious about your uh, health. And God willing, we'll see you next week. God bless you. Barakumar Abuna Saudi.